this video is going to be all about freshwater toys again, and yes, this is actually going to be all about freshwater wildlife, and yes, we're going to take a look at three flip flap products which are based on that toy range, and hopefully without being a bit too, well, let's just say a bit narky in this video, I'm just hoping I can be a lot more prudent for the fact that these toys here are literally graced. And to add to that, these things also don't look that very impervious too. And I'm very sorry for the glare on the bottom left corner. But anyways, let's just take a look at these products in twain. Don't know why I'm saying these words, because maybe I'm going to take a look at these two first. And then we'll come to this one here. These two are very interesting because these are the 12 packs. And this one here is a Australian or Australasian data 5 pack. It looks like a Coleman but with a very long neck. Very weird attenuated neck. We'll come back to that one later on. But I think we should probably start with this one here. The Pacific Black Duck Flock 6 to 12 pack. £14.95. A bunch of baby ducks. Send them to the moon. Send the machine that doesn't work. Send them to the moon. Well, anyways, I want to, you know, I don't want to call anyone the drill bit. Well, also, I actually want to send. Maybe it's from that influence from that freaking show called Regular Show. But anyways, this £14.95 ducking product looks pretty amazing. Yes, you can see there's six ducks and there's six fish. How obvious is that? Well, actually not very obvious because ducks don't actually eat fish in real life. Except, you know, let's just say tufted ducks and... You send there's a Meganza type ducks. You may probably find out what these are once we get into the computer later on. There's the anatomy, the very eponymous of all anatomy is here. 100% compatible with water here. I mean, the, well, I would say the amount of black text on it is a little bit bland, but it does pour off very nicely, like this one here on the front part of the artwork here. So I'm going to come in and do the unpacking. I know the fish are going to be quite bland, but we'll see how they. Uh, let's just see how they work, eh? Well, here's the Pacific Black Duck in my hand, and despite the name, these guys actually don't look black, in a sense. They're also known as the Grey Duck. I think that's what they're called, Grey Ducks in New Zealand. They've got this very chibi sort of kawaii eye, very cute anime style eye. Maybe it's the creatures I'm actually thinking of. Looks pretty nice, though. And... I wonder what these feathers are, these green things, they're called, I think these are called speculums, it's like you would find on a, um, what you would find on a mala duck, or maybe on the teal, I think it's very commonly found on dabbling ducks, so, and, um, sort of bobs your uncle, and it's not that flimsy, these models, and to be honest, there's another one of these here, it's got the same details as all the other ducks they have, I think except for the Let's just say the head and the eye. And this one there looks like it's got a bit of a wonky sort of beaky head here. I kind of like this, you know, these types of you know, flapping birds because they look pretty realistic but also a bit, well, cartoonish in the, the way they've been stylized in their heads, I suppose. And also, look at the way this one here looks like a very funky looking wing beat. Oh yeah, and they do actually work well with fish. And they actually do work. I'll say, I suppose, do you know how to eat fish? I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me because that maybe the fact that ducks eat fish is very inevident. Maybe that's the way I'm saying it, guys. But that's the way I just tend to say it on my videos. Maybe if I have a great suggestion on just looking at images of ducks eating fish, that would actually be very, very, well, let's just say, pervious. Or should I say, a lot more absurd, but in a very realistic way. Well, actually, the word pervious would actually be more like to refer something to fluid, which is like as in liquid. I think the opposite word of impervious would literally mean it's not that fluidable. Or should I say, it's not a fluid sort of thing. Maybe I should go ahead and check it out. And we'll see what it looks like. And I think there's some other duck species as well, because I'm very curious about... Uh, you know, the way, and uh, which diet that they like. And yes, who are the fishies there? Because there'll be, you know, there'll be other angst of all the other YouTubers saying, where's the fishies there? Well, there are all the fishies there. I mean, they do look a little bit too bland for me. They've all got their shocked faces there. 
But anyways, uh, the, the fish is actually quite a great addition now. Before we head to the next product, I think we should head to the computer. And thinking outside the square, and I think if we head back to where we actually just want to basically, you know, want to get into my head around, I'll type in, I have to do this one single handedly because I don't think it's actually going to work if I just do it both. But, anyways, this is the tufted duck that I'm looking at for, and the diet would actually be very interesting. I think I've actually, um, I think the RSPB website actually told me that these ducks actually devour on um, small fish. But I might be totally wrong because of the way I tend to think of. I suppose I just don't want to, I want to be very careful. Oh no, I don't think so. I don't think tufted ducks actually eat fish. Which is very interesting. I think tufted ducks don't actually eat fish. Very weird, isn't it? I think if I try and go ahead and take a look at this one here. Maybe I'll try and find out if there are some ducks which would actually be very, very nicely um, interested on eating, well, let's just say fish. Ah, let's try all oh, Magansas. I think this one here. I think this is the one I saw, the common Gusena or Merganser, that's what it's called. If I zoom out just a bit though, and if I be very, very dedicated here to this specimen here, I think that's what it's called, the common merganser, and I'll show you the feeding here. And yes, actually, these, d oh my goodness me, I didn't realise that. There you go, mergansers are actually fish-eating ducks. Very interesting indeed, but I initially thought ducks can only just eat non-fish aquatic things, but this one does. Very interesting indeed. It looks like a great crested grebe, that female one here. Anyways, I might just go ahead and show you this one here, the white faced heron, heronry fishing 12 pack, £13.97, and I don't know why I'm putting it on £13, maybe it's the fact that 13 could be the luckiest, or all unluckiest numbers for a price tag like that, or actually a price uh, writing like that, more like I suppose, once again we've got the eponymous anatomy that we find in every single blooming flapping birds product, there's a couple of fishies there, which are literally just shocked for the fact they're just going to be suffering in agony. So well, let's get into the product and let's just go ahead and stop wasting time, otherwise this video will be blooming long. And that's why YouTube of today can easily suck a lot. There you go, the whole packet is now empty. Well here's the in-hand appraisal of this white-faced heron. And unfortunately, these birds don't have names, which is very, very strange and sad to hear. But nevertheless, the one thing which is very, very interesting is the fact that the face can be grey, but I think it's most likely white, hence the name White Face Heron. And yes, they do have the yellow eye, which is very eponymous of this, you know, this specimen of bird. I suppose they look very heron-ish, because as you can see, their necks are more retracted than the other let's just say wading birds. I mean they do have a very soft feel when you just pull their tails like so. They just tend to flap like that which is very 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 unique really overall. It's just a very 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 common feature I suppose. Eh? And best of all you can just plug the fish in. Pretty amazing isn't it? I think it's a bit too um, I think it's a little bit too loose the uh, fishies. It would actually come off easily though but anyways it doesn't look too bad. Maybe we'll try this one here. I think uh, it would actually be a lot more prudent if the heron was carrying the fish more like that. Maybe that would explain why the heron's beak is so long. Yep, that bill of the heron is absolutely long. It really is, the beak is just very, it's a little bit too narrow in the way it just, you know, it holds, you know, the fish I suppose. There's another one of these, actually forgot to flap this one here, there are six of these, each of course being the fish and also the herons as well, and to be honest, what I've actually noticed is that this heron is not only really a grey heron, but it's actually more related to the little egret, that's what I've actually realised, so it's more of an egret than a heron in terms of its genius, and also the size as well, maybe it is basically the same size as the little egret. Well, I might be totally wrong of the fact that I'm just saying it. Looks pretty cool that, um, what would you say, this white-faced heron. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Well, yes, once again, these freshwater toy products 
are so joyful for the fact they are super pervious. I don't know why I keep on saying the word pervious, but we'll actually find out what it actually means. And there's also another word here that actually said it was all about saying the word twain. And it actually means saying splitting in two. I might show you the dictionary right now to be more prudent on what I'm actually saying without sounding like a very great big Dana or a madman or a sarcastic jerk. Once again, here comes my goddamn boring of all, why would you call it single hand shots, where I have to do some research. And sorry for the shakiness because of the way I'm just doing it at the moment, eh? Here's the word twain. And the word twain is archaic turn for two. Yes, it's the archaic term for two. He split the spire in twain. So it's like he's splitting or cutting it in two. So is it just me? And I'll show you the word pervious because I'm actually quite curious in the way that is spelt. Let's take a look what it says. Pervious. And the word pervious actually refers to of a substance allowing water to pass through or permeable. I think it shows you the penetration on how water is like, I suppose. It's a very interesting word and I've never heard it indeed. But I did get that word from a YouTuber called Stuart Ashens who actually reviewed the world's sharpest knife. Ooh, that sounds cringy. Just heard a door from the backside, eh? That was actually very scary indeed. I don't know who that was, but it looks pretty intriguingly creepy. Mind you, I still love my Pokemon posters that I've actually been collecting throughout until, let's just say, the end of 2018. Sadly, I haven't been collecting any, you know, Pokemon stuff until... Oh wait, I did collect some Pokemon stuff. There was these... Oh yes, the Pokemon stickers. I collected these now. Well, it's time to basically go ahead and go into our last hurrah of our freshwater toy. It's the Australian or Australasian Darts at Birds 5-pack. It's basically the cheapest one because it's a 5-pack. There's some sort of weird blooming frog in the middle there. £10.97, that's the price, and we'll show you what it looks like. It looks like that data, which looks like more like a male sort of cormorant thing. Looks like it's trying to basically masticate on one of the fishies there. Which is also another meaning to bite. Having a bit of a gobble, isn't it? I mean, look at the beautiful um, orange irises on the um, the fishies there. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? And there's the anatomy once again, very eponymous of all flip flap origami flapping birds toys. Comes with a frog and a couple of fish. It's a very nice scene. I would actually think it's such a very nice toy to get into. I think that would actually also encourage kids to basically talk about the wetlands and let's just say talk about the swamp because maybe it's the sort of thing I'm just inheriting from that all classic film Shrek. I don't know why I'm saying it but it looks pretty awesome. There is the data here. It's got a very interesting attenuated sort of neck here. Looks very very um pretty realistic isn't it? And I think it's a female. I'm pretty sure it looks more like a female because you can see the eyelashes there. There, right there. I think it's those ones there, as my finger is pointed. Yeah, it just pointed towards that section there. Let me try the other side here. It doesn't have eyelashes. Yes. So I would reckon it's a she. She looks pretty cute. And um, she looks very long indeed, the neck. And <laughs> she actually just attacked a frog, though. And, um... Yes, they do have yellow fins, the fishies there, actually, I suppose. Let me have a bit of a closer up here. They do have this very nice sort of kind of interesting details in the eyes here. And let's take a look at this frog here, because who would ever say, who would ever love or hate Kermit? Oh, just look how cute this frog is. It is so cute. Oh, my heart! My heart! Ah! Oh, yes, what's more deadlier than just basically handling a frog? Well, what about this? What about a, a data just carrying a goddamn frog? Look at that, he's absolutely blind. Oh, look at that, that's the male data. And yes, I, I can actually tell it's a male Australasian data because of the way it's been designed. Sadly, the feet aren't painted, which is not as that uh, attractive compared to the female, but nevertheless, it looks pretty cool. And I do love the details like that. Maybe the best way I would say is, is go ahead and use Maybe a reddish brownish sort of uh, pencil to basically solve the problem by just making the feet a lot more browner or redder just to make it a lot more interesting and accurate and adequate as well. There you go, flap swirl here too. I actually enjoy this very nice looking uh, woods bird, eh? And they certainly do clip. 
together. They certainly do. They stick together. Even though they're just not that, um, they're not that, uh, the sort of toy that actually is attachable. It's very, very nice. Actually, I like it. I mean, I don't mind that for the fact it's just a bit simplistic, uh, but it's just a very good value toy. There's no expressions on that frog, but it looks pretty uh, cute. I mean, it, it almost looks like a pseudo frog to me. Maybe you guys can tell me. It looks like a generic frog to me. Who knows? Maybe you guys can tell me. And there's actually one more thing I actually want to show you here before I start to end the video here because there's actually something that I actually didn't review. And it's these two towers of Tom Ashes. And guess what? You remember I did, you know, the ripoffs of Annie and Clarabelle in that first video about Tom Ash? Well, guess what? I've actually made more of these. I've actually made the second one of Andrea and Claire Abel. If I probably um, shunt the old ones here. Here is the new ones here. They all look very, very different compared to the new one. And in fact, the one way to tell is for the fact they have a different shade of orange. And both of these girls look very interesting indeed. They also have white bottoms, whereas the old ones have the orange ones. And they have names, but on the bottom there but these new ones there they don't have the names on the bottom here it looks pretty nice I've got the new Tomash here which is the sixth production one here uh, it actually matches them perfectly of course I suppose the coaches they don't look too bad in the way they've been detailed and to be honest and to add to that I'd actually think the windows also look very fairly decent in the way they've been detailed they look superbly adequate I actually think they look very, very nicely detailed in the way these, you know, this piece of rolling stock has actually been designed. I would actually say rolling stock is actually a very big rarity in, um, let's just say in the Tomash and Friends world. I'm actually saying Tomash, not Thomas and Friends because of the way I'm just trying to protect my own copyright leakage. And yes, maybe the reason why I'm doing this is because Fliflat likes to use its own brands to make their toys. Yeah. And I might probably just make it like so. Look at that. Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Anyways, I think that's probably about that in this video. And if you'd lasted this long in this video, uh, please give this video a like. And subscribe for more videos on YouTube. As I'll show you right there. A thumbs up for the like over there on YouTube, and yes, thanks to all people who give me the likes as well. And I know for the fact that, because I don't have that many subscribers, I know for the fact that what I would actually mean is, is that because I only have 8 subscribers, I don't think YouTube is very suitable, is actually quite eligible for me. But anyways, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope this video has given you all time. Bye.